Okay, in this video, we're going to learn how to use the Activity View Controller. And that's really like the share sheet. Um, when you want to share something to social media or you want to add photos to your library or anything like that. It's that little pop-up screen that comes up on the iOS. All right, so to begin with, we are going to start a new project in Xcode. And it's going to be a single view application. And we're going to click Next. And I'm going to name this, I'll just name it My activity view there we go organization name you can put down your company or your own name uh, organization identifier is usually a domain domain name in reverse so this is com dot the code lady you could just put in anything you want it, it'll it'll matter when you're uploading it to the apple store that you have a organization identifier but not right now and we're going to make sure that the language is swift and devices is iphone and click next and we're just going to store it wherever you want to store it. And the first thing we're going to do is start building out our storyboard. So we're going to go over to our main dot storyboard over in the left hand side. Click on that and we get to this screen. I'm going to click and highlight this because I want to change the sizing of it. It looks really square and I like it to be a little bit more of a narrow view. So I click and highlighted it. And I'm going to go over to this Show Attributes button. It's the third one from the right. And I'm going to go down to Size. Click on that. And I'm going to change it to iPhone 5.5. All right. That looks like a little bit more familiar. Now, let's start building out the interface. The first thing I'm going to do is go down to the bottom right and start typing in the word Label. And this gets me right to the label. And I'm going to click and drag it. Next code is really good with these blue guidelines. And I'm just going to give it a little room. I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to type in, how are you feeling today? Question mark. There. Now, I, another way to change this text is if I want to double click on it. And you could just go up to here. See, we're under the label. And the second line down right there is where you can change the text manually. All right, so that's our label. Next thing I'm going to do is look for the text field. So again, in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to start typing in text field. And here it is. I'm going to put that right in the center as well. Just sort of stretch it out a little bit. I'm not being too particular on how this looks. It's more about the functionality. And uh, the last thing I'm going to need is a button. So let's type in button. Here it is. Click and drag it. And I'm going to give myself a little bit more room in this. I am also going to double click on this. And I'm going to just write share. Whoops, I need to spell share. There we go. Okay, that's it for our interface, our storyboard. Now we need to connect these things. We need to connect the text field and we need to connect the button. So I'm going to close out the right hand pane by going over here. It says hide or show the utilities. And I'm going to go over to this button. It's the second one from the left and it looks like a little tuxedo. I'm going to click on that and that is our assistant editor. So I'm just going to start connecting. I'm going to click and then control click and drag from my text field over to our viewcontroller.swift file and we're going to make an outlet and I'm just going to name this text field. I'm not going to get too complicated here. It's of type UI text field and we'll leave the storage to weak and you can hit the connect button. There we go. I just want to give myself a little room. There we go. Now the next thing we have to connect is the button. So I'm clicking on the button. I'm going to hit control click and drag over to my viewcontroller.swift release and this time it's a button and I want it to be an action so I want something to happen when I hit this button and I'm gonna just call this share button it's of type UI button so make sure you click on that and the event is touch up inside that's the default and that's when a user pushes the button and then releases it so just leave it at that there's a lot of different options if you you know click on the arrows you can see but touch up inside is the default and we're going to leave it at that and next we're going to hit the connect button okay so far so good all right now let's get into the coding i'm going to close out the assistant editor by going up and just hitting the leftmost button over here with the show the standard editor 
And then I will click on the left hand side, my view controller .swift file. And there we go. Now we have plenty of room. The first thing we're going to do, I'm going to type it out first and then explain it. I'm going to create a variable and I call that variable mood. Because what this app is going to do is it's going to, we're going to be able to type in our mood into the text field and then we'll be able to share that in a sentence to Facebook or Twitter or whatever you want to do. Um, and I'm just using this as an example. You can adapt this any way you want. But anyhow, the first thing I do is variable and I'm calling it mood and I'm setting it to an empty string. Okay, that's so far so good. Now, in the IB action function of the share button, we're going to start writing some code to occur when that button is clicked. The first thing I want to do is capture whatever is in the text field, whatever has been typed in there. I want to capture that in the variable mood. So I'm going to say mood is equal to text field. That's the name of our um, text field. <laughs> I kept it pretty simple. Text field dot text. Okay, good enough. The next thing I want to do is create another variable. And this is going to be the sentence that gets displayed or shared, pre-filled in the Twitter or Facebook post. So I'm just going to call it var uh, my share. And that's going to equal this string that says I am feeling. And now I'm going to do a placeholder. And I'll explain this in a little bit. Slash open and close parentheses. And in there, I'm going to type in mood. Uh, and the last thing I'm going to do is today. And and quotes and we're good. Okay, so what this is doing is I want this sentence to be preloaded on my share or activity view that says I am feeling and whatever mood I had typed in to our text field on the screen is going to display here. So say I'm feeling happy today or I'm feeling excited today. Okay, so that's all well and good. We've set that up. Now we have to call the activity view controller. And that is done this way. So I'm going to say let, which is a constant, so we don't need to change it. Um, I'm going to call it activity, oh, if I can spell, activity VC for view controller. It's just a name I, you know, it's you can call it whatever you want. So I did activity view controller, and that is of type UI activity view controller. And if it should already start to preload, so just click on that and that's all good and that's going to set equal to UI, same thing, activity, view controller. See, it's already preloading it, so that's great. And what we want is just to start typing the open parentheses. There we go. As I say, it usually comes up preloaded. So we want this one, the one that says activity items and then it's any object. And that's what, that's the um, function that we want. So we're going to click on that. All right. So far, so good. Now, in the activity items, what do we want to show? Well, we want to show this, the my share. Okay. That's what we want to show. So I'm going to click on that and just start typing in my, oops, I have to put um, uh, square brackets around there. Sorry about that. Open and close, oh, open square bracket, my share there we go and there's the closing share bracket now you can have a lot of different things a lot of different variables and if you had another one all you would do is go back into the square brackets and just do a comma and say you know another share or whatever um and just keep separating them like that and you could share more than one thing but for now i'm just doing it this way and all looks good no it does not because i need to put um in here i need to type in nil all right so we are setting the UI activity view controller to this name activity VC and now we need to um, present it or show it so we'll do self present and it starts typing it all in view controller okay and just keep all I'm doing is 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 um, actually hitting the enter button and which one do we want to do well we want to present the activity view controller because this is this is what I named it and that's from up here okay now we want it animated yes so we're going to just type in true and completion is nil so far so good we don't have any errors I think we should start running this
Okay, so here we have our little app, and it says, how are you feeling today? And I'm going to type in happy. And I'm going to click the share button. And up comes our activity sheet. And if I hit my Twitter icon, it says, I am feeling happy today. And then I can go ahead and post it. But I'm going to cancel it for right now. Um, if you don't see your Twitter or your Facebook icons up on your iOS simulator, just go into your iOS simulator settings um, on the um, homepage, really. And you could just, just like on a regular iOS system, you just scroll down to see the app icon and then you just log in. Then you should be able to see your Facebook and your Twitter. All right, let's try another one. Say, I am feeling excited. Spell that right. And I'm going to hit share. And this time I'll go to Facebook. And it says, I am feeling excited today. All right. And that is how you use the Activity View Controller in Swift. Thanks for listening. And please go to thecodelady.com and sign up. I would love to hear from you. And I have full-length tutorials there as well. Thank you.